Have you ever woken up on a beautiful midsummer morning only to see this? Animal digging is really prevalent, especially at certain times of the year, generally spring and then late summer, early fall. The local wildlife has developed a vendetta against your lawn and something needs to be done. But before you react, you should know that the problem likely lies deeper in the soil. You dig through and you're looking for those white C-shaped um, uh, insects. I always say it's like a shrimp cocktail of grubs. Yes, plump, juicy grubs. Animals like skunks and raccoons are searching for them, and if they find them in your lawn, they'll be back. Having grubs and other oh-so-tasty bugs under your grass is normal. You'll encounter problems, though, when grub numbers shoot up and they munch away at your grass roots, allowing the turf to lift up like a rug. How many grubs you have under there all depends on the weather. Soil mo moisture, temperature, ambient temperature, those are the things that affect all insect life. If there's no moisture, we're probably not going to have healthy grass. Therefore, we're not going to have healthy, viable food source and roots for them as they hatch either. So you've confirmed you have too many grubs. What can you do? The ideal thing is to prevent the food source that the animals are digging for. So regular and properly timed applications of nematodes. Nematodes are a natural option to kill the grubs, but they can be tricky. They need to be kept cool and applied to a wet lawn during mid to late August. Then they need to be watered in immediately. We don't want to try applying these when they're 30 degrees outside plus humidity because the chance of success is very, very low. Look into nematodes, but ensure that you apply them properly. Um, try some sort of natural chemical deterrent like, like paprika to try to deter the skunks. And then of course the physical deterrent, like I said, the chicken wire, wire or some sort of netting. So I would say those would be your short-term remedies. Long-term remedies really are about long-term um, health of your turf. The long-term key is that having a lawn with a healthy root system will be less prone to damage and will recover quicker. It does take time. When you see your neighbors and they have really great lawns, more often than not, it's that they're putting the time in. 